classes were awesome. Who's the student by show of hands? Awesome. What are you studying? Just curiosity. Uh, criminal justice. Criminal justice. Not real kind. Of. To the world. We saw what was going on, but we didn't know how the way to break it down to the way we think. So we're a few poems for you guys. Um, I wrote some books, and like, and I, I, I did this thing where I was like, I'm going to write a bunch of books, right? So I did 12 books, one book a month for a year, um, it was like from June to July of the next year type thing. Um, so I have a few different ones. I'm going to read one book from about five, four different books, five different books. Some of them are short, some of them are long. And then I'm going to read my poem for the year. For the last four years, five years, I guess, since 2016, I've been writing a poem a year. It like sums up my mission. So start 2016, 2020. It's probably going to be the last one, actually. So I did. I have a 2020 poem. I'll read that one. But let's go ahead and do this thing. The first poem I'm going to read is called Forest, and it's from my book, Forest. Uh, I brought a few of them, so if anyone makes you guys, you guys want one? Can you tell me? I'll take one. Do, do, do. Oh, there you go. They're not free. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You said it so easily. Yeah. Uh, like, uh, like five dollars. Okay, but um, this is the first poem, it's called Forest. Uh, wine dries the tears that I would shed and bruises my fears far from my head. I think about how you were playing, softly lining up with the horizon, horizontal lovers of different kinds, and how you smile with friends at harmony in abstract community. Is that first one? Woo! Okay. This is a short one. I think about poems as, I just had this idea, it's called sustainable ideologies, right? So I think of myself as kind of a scientist. I'm out here, I think different thoughts, some of them last, some of them don't. You know, I think the ones that last to me, the ones that I feel like can last the longest, the thoughts of mine that I think are truly part of me, that can go from here and carry me to wherever I want to, like legacy, everything, those are the most sustainable ideologies. And I think about it almost as software for your brain. Your brain does lots of different things. One thing that it does is burn out too much because it has little thoughts, they're not super accurate, and they're like, go away. So I think poetry is like sustainable ideology. It's a type of software. This poem is called Project Forward. Interestingly enough, I have a business called Project Forward, um, which is a communications business where I help artists and stuff. So, poem by the same name. I must move faster than the speed of missed opportunities. That's why I rest, perfectly still at the speed of light, aloft on sound and air, chasing sleep around a tree of ideas, making memories of success plucked from prophecy. There's that one. Woo! I also painted the cover, so each one has a different color. It's kind of cool. I painted the cover. This poem is called Park History. I love abstract stuff, so I'll try to read it a little bit slow so you can pick it up, but there's some fun references and cool stuff in this one. But it's very abstract. <clears throat> you might know this one. I'll ask you after if you know this any of the reference. <clears throat> we love to argue, even though it's too late to speed up time. Clocks, Dali, seasons, Vivaldi, awe, beauty, and gravel, upset that we are impatient. Angels often swooping, carving ruts into roads. Love is our only option to feel what we've become blind to. Holding pain, we call it currency. Flipping hope, we call it lies. Praise God for shielding Africa in poverty so magic and life can still have claimed reality. Tongues all under boots of immortal Roman soldiers, raised voices, gulp, flowing bronze, Guernica, Guantanamo, Parnassus is an artist performing to six people. Out of touch from our calling, feet first flung through heaven, situated in suits, imitating the walls with windows shut, Furious oral reports on the state of facts, righteous revelations, reverberating accountability, executive elections, such a pity that we can't simply focus on the children and ration our words into better worlds without persecuting poetry for its free verses. 
Counselors, restore our vision with kaleidoscopes for us to see straightly. Glass chihuly, nature goldsworthy. Even clarity must be curated. There is hope through the army. Eyes pulled upward, off buttons pressed, because I'll never know the name of the one you love now, or how they tempt you to skip your last few years for theirs. Time, Coppola, now, coward. Step on. Quality, amazing painter. Thank you, sir. Anyone else? I put Kaur in there, Ruby Kaur is a famous poet. And Goldsworthy. Goldsworthy, okay, cool. I'd like to see who's going to catch one. Amazing artist. Okay, so I got two more poems for you. This one is called, oh no, I have three more poems. This one's called Bus Back to San Antonio. For a period of time, there was no car in my life, and uh, I was in Eagle Pass. I was only in Eagle Pass because I was in Crystal City, and there's no buses from Crystal City to anywhere. But I have a car or a friend. But um, I was driving back and I just had some thoughts. So this is a bus back to San Antonio. In all these towns, they want money to pay taxes to the concrete kingdom, and they want to rent, uh, and they want rent for their concrete ceilings. I never wanted a mountain so bad that I would settle for 30 stories and a transit pass. But I am looking for you. Enough to search all 30 stops of the elevator, all 3,000 bus and train stations, all the tarmacs, runways, and terminals. I found you every time with a little change to move matters and enough potential energy for your next action. This bus back to San Antonio. So my whole self-publishing journey, which Whatever. It started around in uh, 2012, and this was the first book that I, I ever wrote, and I put a lot of time into it. It really um, it helped me a lot, and I think I'm going to try to do something on this level again, where these ones, because I was publishing one month, I had the poems already, but there's a bunch of typos in these books, and um, the poems, they're, they're different. They're very ephemeral because they were written very fast, and so they're a different type of thing. But these ones were a collection of thoughts that was over like five years, and then I had someone else help me carve them down. And so there's a little bit of a different vibe with this first book, and so I, every time I come back to it, I like it a lot. Um, it's called Time Fly, right? It's the hardcover version. Um, I'm gonna read a poem called In Adulation. I don't write a lot of love poems, but uh, I did this. It didn't work out, though, so. <laughs> we were never together, so that's the best time to love poems, right? In adulation. I began to study flowers in order to describe you, read their names and reflected on their beauty. My eyes measured petals, my heart recorded their wounds, and soon after I began to understand the bouquet. No single plume could stand alone in description of you, no single rose, for even a dozen roses could not smell of lavender. Even before I began to assemble the perfect arrangement, seeing this with that, I knew no combination would suffice. Flowers bunched and clipped and gathered were not flowers. They were captive, and your liberal beauty lived more like a garden, a seasonal wisp, a sunflower in the summer, a lily in the valley, one lunary for the moon among gyps num numbering the stars, all in more intuitive symphony than the beds hewn by Monet's colors. Then, seeing also the fullness of the natural scene, Rivers and tumult, crowds of vegetation. I said, what of these reeds? Are your lips not more nimble than these? What of the sycamore trunk? Your heart beats more firmly, ringed with more scars, and your eyes reflect the soul stiller than, a, than the surface of a crystal pond. In awe, I dare to take, my, take to my wildest imaginations to see if your image could be likened unto anything. Your passion needed strokes of waterfalls to stand for their rushing turbulence. All the rainforest strove to be as variedly fruitful as your love. No desert as dry as your despair. No vineyard as lucid as your words. Your hope stood in more rebellious regard than the eye of a hurricane. Pulling so far back, I stood admiring the entire earth as you from beyond the moon. Then by chance I turned to see the galaxies, countless into infinities with watery eyes burning and lumps emerging in my throat. I was thrown out into the vastness of space. 
the cosmic reality of the universe, the eternal composition, a symposium of light, power, and godlike wonder, magnitudes of gravity shifting suns into oblivion, all that was and could be being done and undone into continuum, my heart then flashed recognition, and I heard it speak to me of all the beauty you can see in her, the earth into the ages will try to compare, but remember now the things which she told you in expressing her heart. Each time she brought you here, the universe beginning to end in a sentence of span. I was not surprised, yet still all that I could barely grasp, still all that I was could barely grasp the enormity, enormity of your inner world. My whole body was filled with understanding, hot and white and deep and black. I frantically blinked just once, and there I was on the back, on my back, in the grass of my friend's front lawn, she beside me with an orchid in her hair, saying again, why do you love me? That's that poem. <laughs> Different things. Um, I really want this year to be about poetry, um, pretty heavily for me, but also, you know, business sustains my life as an entrepreneur, and so this is kind of where everything meets this year. Hmm. This year, everybody is getting the secrets. 2020 is Tokyo, 2020 is clarity. I've been, oh, also, I should say that this one is more of a spoken word. Most of the stuff I write is like to be read, I guess, but then when I write these ones, I write them for me to read them. And it's also recorded, so if you like it, it's on YouTube, it's on Spotify, and stuff like that, to release this a track out into the stuff. And I know Billboard has spoken word charts, and they get spoken word Grammys, maybe, you know, I Reach for one of those. <laughs> this year, everybody is getting the secrets. 2020 is Tokyo. 2020 is clarity. I've been wandering the borderlines that caused such confusion. Could the world, in fact, be split in half on the corner of every curve? Do we really disturb the peace just to release our feelings? Yes, we do. And blindly, let's be clear, fear is where life pursues higher education, and the fear of God is where minds discover knowledge, and the awe of fear humbles men to women, so how can we learn to see nakedly if we can't even be seen naked? I begin to get lost in the hustle again. Have you been having these same dreams of having everything that's ever been seen on screens, never thinking of what lies in between the 98% of time where costs are paid and hours are bought at bottom price? But I've also got plenty of wake-up calls. Let me share them with you. Real love, Tokyo, patience, local events, relationships over money, legacy over fame, research over warring, prayer over ceasing, meditation on the seasons, love over life, guard the weak, kind words only, positive words only, positive endings only, silence, estate over everything, encourage people to outgrow their circumstances. If you've ever talked about a cause, meet with four people and make a plan to change that problem, invest diversely. Progress towards independence. Do not rely on your employer. Do not rely on your parents. Explore art. Explore, explore music. Huh? Wait, um, wait a moment. What's happening? I think I, I just, and we, and we coulda was, I mean, is this us? Are we flying? Are we in space? Did we just build a village on a spaceship? I guess we really are gods, right? God, I'm, Glad I learned not to fight God. Right, God? I'd rather be like God, because I really like God. Safely experience your own greatness. Make your best work night after night till it takes flight. Write for four years, then write for four years. Then you might want to write for four years. And if you need to take a break, write for four years. I control tears because I control fears. And if I cry, it's been a fight for some years. But what is time except a ride between peers? And what am I except a lie for a few years? Lagos to Oakland to Tokyo, BC and AD and ratios. Fear God because God kisses time. Oh, because gold kisses time, but God will teach you to kiss heaven. And in 2020, we are going to space on our way to Tokyo. Thank you guys so much. It's been so much fun.